My name is Joe and I'm from Brisbane. My name is Adam Fawcett and I'm from Cairns, Queensland. My name is Jeremy and I'm from Darwin. My name is Thomas Hallam and I'm from a small town called Tolga in Far North Queensland. Hi, my name is Jen and I'm from the North Side. My name is Miguel and I was born in South Africa. My name is Cedric Nzobanika, I am from Burundi. I study chemical and metallurgical engineering. I'm currently studying mining and geotechnical engineering. I am studying chemical and metallurgical engineering. I'm currently studying a degree in mining and geotechnical engineering and I'm currently working as an intern geotechnical engineer. My dream job is to be a transport engineer. My dream job is a golf course architect. My future job is to be a mine manager. I'd say that Earth 1501 is a great introduction to earth sciences and how they apply to the engineering fields. We covered a range of introductory topics. I enjoyed uh, minerals and rocks because they are rocks that we normally see every day and uh, I didn't know they are complex as they are. I personally loved the rock process and learning about how the rock cycle going starting from the mountains and how it degrades and, and down into the creeks and stuff like that and it's already helped me in the real world. We went through a lot of material about faults and they're very important in geotechnical engineering for determining safety factors in mines. Learning about geological hazards was really important because it helped me gain a greater understanding on why geological failures occurred. Learning about uh, natural hazards such as earthquakes, uh, tsunamis, mass movement would be helpful when conducting civil engineering projects. I really enjoyed the hands-on aspect of it, feeling and actually getting to touch rock minerals and learning about the different textures and how you can scrape them and learn you know, what type of rock it is just from that is pretty cool. The practices were really engaging and they helped reinforce the information we had learned throughout the course. They are hands-on and we get to work in small teams and we have tutors that are available for help. It was good to actually look at some samples and you know, get some actual experience and, and see what these things look like rather than pictures in a book. The digital aspect of the course made it really fun for all of us. The 3D models were very handy. Like during the weekly practice, you could still you know, zoom right in and get those little details that you would get looking at in a, in a lab. The 3D models were important because they provided accurate and realistic models and that really improved my learning style a lot. So I found that the 3D models were really important just in case like if I missed a class, it was always there. I could go back and look through them and I think it really helped students engage and like take their time with learning if they needed it. I'd say that the practice in Earth 1501 gave me a lot of great collaboration with fellow students, with professors and tutors that I, I feel like it's missing from a lot of other courses. It was just a bit of a, a change up to other course structures where every, all the learning might be out of a book. The course taught me a wide variety of aspects that I'm going to use in future studies. Learning about cross sections and how to read maps in Earth 51 has greatly helped me in my second year course in Structural Geology. Earth 1501 has served as a great foundation for all the further geotechnical courses that I'm going to take and it's gotten me into great study habits, I'd say. The mineralogy side, um, the topic that we learned there is really applicable to metallurgy. A lot of what we are going to learn and have learned already revolves around the minerals and their mineralogy and how we're going to get specific metals out of those minerals. This was very useful in my second year mineralogy and metallurgical course where we were learning chemical processing of the different minerals and it was very useful to know how they were actually formed, what oxidation states the elements were in and this was already taught in Earth 1501. For employability, I would say that just making connections and networking here in the course and meeting people who I'm potentially going to work with in the future is very useful. Earth 1501 taught me a lot of transferable skills like communication and teamwork which I think are very important in a workplace environment. Since we studied in teams, I learned a lot of employability skills such as communication, uh, teamwork, sketching maps and many more. Earth 1501 was not a compulsory course but it was good to have this underlying knowledge and that may give me an edge going into the industry.